Welcome to Manifested Publishers. Hello learners. Welcome to Manifested Online Classes. Chemistry Form 3. Topic is still gas laws. In this lesson, I want us to discuss the conversion of degree Celsius to Kelvin. Conversion of degree Celsius to Kelvin. To convert to convert degree Celsius to Kelvin, we add two seventy three. Convert degree Celsius to Kelvin, we add 273. So anytime you are given temperature in degree Celsius, if you want to convert it to Kelvin, you just need to add those degree Celsius you are given, you add 273. Then you will be able now to get the temperature in Kelvin. I want us to do examples. Examples convert the following temperature in degrees Celsius to Kelvin. A we have Zero degrees Celsius. B. We have let's say ten degrees Celsius. D. C. We have forty degrees Celsius. Start with the first one, degrees Celsius. You've been given zero degrees Celsius. So to convert it zero degrees Celsius, we have said that you. And, and 273. Convert degree Celsius to Kelvin, we and 273. So in our first case will be 0, we and 273. So 0 plus 273, this is equals to 273. So 273 Kelvin. This means that 0 degree Celsius Zero degrees Celsius is equivalent to 273 Kelvin. And that is the temperature in Kelvin. The second, we have 10 degrees Celsius. Again, to convert, we just need to add 273 to 10. So it will be 10 plus 273. And therefore, it will give us 283. Kelvin. So 10 plus 273 is 283 and that is the temperature in Kelvin. Therefore it means that 10 degrees Celsius is equivalent to 283 Kelvin. And the last example is 40 degrees Celsius. Again we add 273 therefore it will be 40 plus 273 which will give us 40 plus 273, that is 313 Kelvin. 313 Kelvin. That is how we convert temperature from degree Celsius to Kelvin. So always remember that if you are given temperature in degree Celsius, and you convert this temperature in degree Celsius to Kelvin, by adding 273. I hope that's a simple task. Yeah, it is. Therefore, I want to give you some examples or some more examples on the same. Then fourth, we have D, negative 20 degrees Celsius. E, 
100 degrees Celsius. F have let's say 50 degrees Celsius. So convert the following temperatures in degrees Celsius to Kelvin. We have negative 20 degrees Celsius. We want us to convert negative 20 degrees Celsius to Kelvin. So again, we just take negative 20 degrees Celsius. You earn 273. This is a negative. It is negative 20. Temperature is negative 20 degrees Celsius. So negative 20 plus 273. This will give you 2. 53. So 253 Kelvin. So basically it just means that negative 20 degrees Celsius and 253 Kelvin, it is the same temperature. The next is 100, then it will be 100, you earn 273, therefore it will give you 373 373 Kelvin that is how you convert the temperature in from degree Celsius to Kelvin and lastly we have 50 degrees Celsius this 50 and 273 and this will give you 323 Kelvin 323 Kelvin. So that's how you convert temperature from degrees Celsius to Kelvin. This is a simple, a simple thing to ensure that you are able to convert be it any temperature from degrees Celsius to Kelvin, you just need to add 273. Even if you are given 1000 degrees Celsius, then to convert it to Kelvin, you just need to add 1000 degrees Celsius, then you add 273, you get 1,273 Kelvin. I hope that's a simple task. You can be able to do that. Now I want to give you an assignment on the same. But just before that, I want to remind you again that for you to be able to convert degrees Celsius to Kelvin, you earn 273. And 273. Any time. Therefore, that's why you have taken these examples. The 0 plus 273, you get 273 Kelvin. That's now when you have 0 degrees Celsius as your temperature. So it will be 0 plus 273, which is equals to 273 Kelvin. 10 degrees Celsius will be 10 plus 273, you get 283 Kelvin. Next, 40 degrees Celsius will be 40 plus 273, you get 312 Kelvin. That negative 20 degrees Celsius, this is negative 20 plus 253, which will give you 253 Kelvin. We have 100 degrees Celsius, converting it to Kelvin, it will be 100 plus 273, which gives you 373 Kelvin. Lastly, 50 degrees Celsius to convert to Kelvin, just need to add 273 to 50, which will give you 323 Kelvin. So that brings us to the end of this lesson. But before I end, I want to give you an assignment which are going to calculate or to convert degrees Celsius to Kelvin. Therefore, the assignment is this. Convert Celsius. So convert the following temperatures in degrees Celsius to Kelvin. So basically, I've told you that if you want to convert temperature in degrees Celsius to Kelvin, you just need to add 273. I hope this one's will be simple 
and you'll be able to do that. So ensure that you've done the assignment before we meet in the next lesson. In the next lesson, we'll be looking at conversion of Kelvin or conversion of temperature in Kelvin to degrees Celsius. Thank you for participating in the lesson. God bless you very much. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you.